there's nothing better than that feeling you get when you're just in nature and around healthy ecosystems in the environment. And, and here we've got such a clean, pristine, beautiful environment to be in. Australia is a coastal nation. I mean, we're famous for our coastal lifestyle, our surfing, our diving, our fishing, and that attracts a huge number of visitors, both domestically and, and internationally. And so there are millions of visitors that visit the Great Southern Reef every year. These kelp forests help maintain the pristine, beautiful coastal ecosystems that we have. People flock here to, to eat our seafood, try our seafood. But what would happen if we lost these kelp forests? At the moment, nobody knows, but these are really crucial questions because without them, a lot of those benefits will be lost. Other things like just the immense importance of our Aboriginal history and culture along the Great Southern Reef. Like, we, we can't put a value on that. Like, it's, things are immeasurable. So we're kind of really stepping back and saying, wow, if we just do a stock take of all the benefits that we derive from reefs, the magnitude of them is, is really immense. And until now, this hasn't been done. There are a number of ways that we can measure the benefits, the flow of benefits from a kelp forest to human societies. You can use economic tools, so you can look at how kelps and the fauna associated with kelp forests are entering direct human markets. Uh, but you can also use tools like storytelling, um, understanding people's actual relationship with the kelp forest and this involves going to coastal peoples, listening to narratives and really sort of understanding the diversity of interactions across the Great Southern Reef and how we interact with these really incredible ecosystems. So there, there are four main ways that we like to classify the benefits that we derive from nature. The first one is the direct provisioning of services, so this is the fish that you might take from the ocean and that is produced for society. Second, we have regulating services, and this is literally the thing that makes it possible to live within the world. This is the oxygen that's produced from the environment. Third, we have cultural ex services, or the, the human experience, and this is how people start to connect with and find a sort of spiritual resonance with nature and support their identity. And lastly, we have the habitat that's provided by these ecosystems for a whole chain of life. All of these are benefits that nature provides and that up until now, we've literally been taking them for granted and they're coming in for free. The thing about these benefits that the Great Southern Reef provides is that it's only when we don't have them that we realize just how important they are. So when the kelp disappears and all of a sudden there's a lot of excess nutrient pollution and we need to fix that problem, it literally costs millions of dollars. Whereas before that was a job that was being done by nature without us even being aware of it. It can make sense to put a price on nature in that it starts to really highlight the, the value that's being contributed. It's not meant to wholly commodify the natural existence of our world, but really to put a number that people can relate to and communicate with that identifies this is what is being provided by this natural ecosystem, this environment that exists around us, and again, try to make it so we don't take that existence for granted. I think there's been a lot of fantastic work done that's really highlighted how these are the ecosystems that are supporting our society. This is where we work, live and play and people are starting to come home to that fact.